Hi, I'm super excited that durable objects are now available in free tier, which means that you can build stateful serverless applications. As you can see on the docs, you can use uh, durable objects to create AI agents, collaborative applications, real time applications, and a lot more. Now, I have been personally using durable objects to make my slides interactive and these are like presentation slides. Oftentimes when I am giving talks at different developer events, I, I, I like to add some fun elements to the talk and I do this with this interaction part. So let me show you how it looks like. So here are like, here's an example slide that I have. It's the same link open across different tabs. And what I do is add this little images to my slides. Now folks can open up this URL on their phone, on their tab tablets, on their laptops, wherever they want. And they can interact with the slides live with, by clicking on these images and giving me some live reaction or some live feedback during the talk. Oftentimes I have been asked how I do this, how I edit this interaction. And I am going to show you in this video how to do it step by step. Now I am using slide V to create this presentation. Slide V is built on top of UGS, which allows you to write your slides in a markdown file and gives you a lot of flexibility. I'm not going to dive deeper into slide V and you can deploy this uh, slides anywhere you want. I have created a small template, which you can use to deploy it on Cloudflare workers. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to click on use this template and then create a new repository. Next, I will give this a name and click on again, create repository, but I need to select an on Okay. Now this is going to create a repository for me. And the next step is to fork it. And I will make a few changes locally before we go ahead and deploy it. So let's go ahead and fork this again in my terminal. Oh, sorry. Let's go ahead and clone this. Now in my terminal, I am running the command git clone. And let's just see video demo slides. All right, it did open VS code, but it's on other screen. And we anyways wanted to use Windsor. Over here, there are a lot of files, but the main file that we are concerned about is the slides.md file. Now this is the file where you basically write your uh, slides, as simple as that. I don't like the provided uh, theme, I like defaults. I'm going to go with that. I will update the title video slides demo. All right. Thank you. And for auto completing that for me. And now over here, I have created like two uh, add ons for this. For this video, we want to use the slide V add on live reactions. So I'm going to uncomment this one. This takes a couple of parameters. So in the live reactions, I need to pass on my server. Now this is like the web socket server that I need to pass on. And then also the images that I want to render on my slide. Now I haven't deployed a web socket server. This is something we are going to do next. So I'm going to hit on uh, save, come back to my terminal, run npm i. This is going to install all the necessary packages. And while this happens, let's go ahead and deploy our WebSocket server. Again, the WebSocket server is the code for this is available on my GitHub repo. I'm going to quickly go through it. It has like two durable objects. So there is one durable object called presentation. And then there is one that is called slides. Now, uh, Within this durable object, a lot of things are happening, but let me quickly walk you through that. In the presentation uh, durable object, 
we try to get all the entries which is like all the number of presentations you might be giving different presentations in, at different conferences and you want to reuse this you don't want to deploy a separate server all the time and that's why i have this in place and then also you can add a new presentation wherever it gets added to your talks then with the slides uh do it basically will uh, add a new row for each of the slides for that particular presentation for example in our video demo slides presentation we have 10 slides so for each of this it is going to create a uh, 10 rows in our database and we also are getting that the analytics which is get feedback and if i scroll down over here this is where the web socket uh, connection is happening and then we get the message we we do some de serialization and serialization stuff because i am using the hibernation api of durable objects again you can go ahead and read about all of this in the docs uh, there is a broadcast method which is basically broadcasting the message coming in from a single client to all the clients and then i am using hono for this now you can go through the readme follow instructions to how to deploy it or you can simply click on deploy to cloudflare button this will take you to your cloudflare account if you are not logged in it will ask you to log in and if you have multiple accounts like me it will ask you to select an account i'm going to go with a free account this is my com a free account that i got provisioned to try out free stuff and see what the experience looks like uh, let's give it a name video demo slides and this is what we are going to call our worker as well and I'm just gonna click on create and deploy now what this will do is it will create a github repository in my github account with this name and it will also start deploying my application or my worker application named video demo slides once it is deployed, we will be able to access it on the deployed URL. Now, the deployment takes a few seconds, but it should be uh, quick enough. And it's deployed. Like in just a few seconds, my application is deployed to region Earth. I can click on continue the project. And in here, I can go and view this worker. Now this is what I mentioned about the index.html file. I'll get the list of presentations and then individual slides here. Now I'm gonna copy this uh, URL, come back to our slides and update the server URL. Instead of HTTPS, I'm gonna, go to, I'm gonna select WSS. I could have configured this in the server itself to enter HTTPS and use that as a WebSocket endpoint, uh, if you haven't tried, I would recommend trying out PartyKit. It does, it provides a lot of such helper functions and improves the experience of building real-time applications. But now that we have this in place, I will come over here and start the development server. It's gonna ask me if I want to install this add-on which we want to do once I have once I select yes it will install the package for me and takes me to the slides and over here you can see that the images are available on all our slides and you can interact with them and you would be seeing emojis popping up Do you want to see if it's real time uh, let me Open it, open this up in another tab. If I select over here, we see them popping up around. All right, now what about that index.html file? So if I now refresh this page, we have a presentation called Video Slides Demo. And if I click on that, it shows me the reactions that I got for individual slide. I am super excited to see what you do with durable objects. I have been having a lot of 
fun with durable objects building such fun applications but also using it into more uh, business driven applications and if you want to try the deployed version of our app you can head over to the link slide v worker assets dot hercf dot workers dot dev and just go ahead and give the reactions you can also learn more about it on the next slide and that's it for this presentation looking forward to see what you build with durable objects